Three days later, under the control of Dong Chin, the Film Lam Academy and the War Academy merged and became an immortal alliance that took martial arts as the path to enlightenment, immortal cultivation culture became widespread. Lam Thien Tie was appointed by Dong Chin as the leading disciple to guide the students on the path of cultivation. From then on, the construction of the immortal cultivation force led by Dong Chin was completed and it was called Tan Min. At the same time, the Martial Arts Association began to pay attention to the development trend of Tan Min and organized an important meeting. At the headquarters of the Martial Arts Association, a serious old man with silver hair spoke, according to recent intelligence, Tan Min is only promoting the culture of immortal cultivation and integrating the major martial arts academies, it does not pose any threat to the city, what do you think about this? The one who spoke was Bark Fuat, the president of the Martial Arts Association. The grey-haired man said, I wanted to recruit Don Chin into the association, but I went to invite him yesterday and was rejected. An old man in a white coat sitting next to him also spoke up, I suggest we eliminate Tan Min, then capture Don Chin and take him to the laboratory for cloning surgery. Bark Fuat replied, These are not good ideas. I suggest we tacitly allow his Tan Min force to exist, provide support and cooperate. The martial artists below did not agree with this opinion. They spoke up one after another to refute it. This is not good. Tan Min advocates for immortal cultivation, which is different from the philosophy of our martial arts association. I'm afraid he will not cooperate. If we cooperate with immortal cultivators, then will we still be worthy of being called martial artists? Bark Fuat stood up angrily and slammed his hand on the table. He asked sternly, Haven't you all seen the video footage of Don Chin's battle? I want to ask everyone here, who can fight against him? Everyone was silent, they didn't know what to say. Just then, a guard pushed open the door and rushed in, shouting, urgent report, a large number of monsters have landed on the coast and are wreaking havoc in our Dong Chao city. Bark Fuat immediately ordered his subordinates, order the martial artists under your command to quickly attack and fight against the invading monsters. Everyone stood up and responded in unison, yes. In the Dong Chao urban area, the TV station was broadcasting to the people that a large number of monsters had landed from the east coast, they urged the people to pay attention to their safety and not to go outside. Countless monsters were surrounding and attacking the people and destroying the city. At this moment, a monster was hit by a force of spiritual energy and thrown into a building, it screamed in pain. The one who attacked it was Lu Bo, he was standing below protecting the people, he held a long spear with a strong aura of spiritual energy surrounding him. Lu Bo laughed happily, ha ha ha, after learning the senior Dong Chin's training method, my moves have become much more agile. Nearby, people were running away in panic, the monsters chased them relentlessly, everyone screamed in fear, run. Suddenly, countless ice blocks rose from the ground and pierced the monsters, Lam Thien Tie appeared like a goddess, she said, all crimes will be brought to justice, everyone, hurry up and get out of here. The people around her cheered and shouted, it's the people of Tan Min, were finally saved. After a while, Lam Thien Tie and two other students had killed all the monsters, they immediately ran to fight elsewhere. In the sky, the spiritual energy of the monsters was being drawn together into a fiery circle, the nine-headed dragon demon king, Kuan, was riding on Dong Chin's back, he raised his hand and absorbed all the spiritual energy into his body, he said, when everyone gathers firewood, the flame will rise high, and with the help of my subjects, the spiritual energy can be absorbed more efficiently. Kuan exclaimed, Master is wise, he is indeed the emperor of the ages, if we have the help of Tan Min's disciples, we will never have to worry about a lack of spiritual energy again. Suddenly, strange flying heads appeared above his head, they were Hituban, Don Chin frowned and thought when he saw these monsters, he didn't expect that there were still ghosts in this world. After hearing this, he raised his hand to activate his spiritual energy and prepared to attack the flying heads, wait for me to make a move. Before he could finish speaking, a person suddenly flew over and said to Don Chin, it's better to leave it to me, heroes always appear at the crucial moment. As he spoke, he swung his sword and cut a few heads into pieces, he smiled proudly and said, I am the hero, I am the robot warrior, an A-level martial artist. He turned to Don Chin and said, are you scared by my moves? Only martial artists like us can do this, cultivators like you can't do anything, Don Chin was speechless at this arrogant person. He and Kuan warned him in unison, be careful behind you, at this moment, a huge head appeared behind him, before the robot could react, the monster opened its mouth with sharp teeth and swallowed the robot warrior's head in one bite. 
he still did not forget to say goodbye to Don Chin, I, the hero, will go ahead first. Don Chin saw that he was useless and liked to show off, so he took action, he flew up and chanted a spell, summoning the ultimate move Lang Nha Thak, a giant tombstone appeared in the air, the flying head monster on the other side was stunned and confused. To briefly introduce, this Lang Nha stone carving is one of the stone sculptures from the Tan Dynasty, it is also known as the Lang Nha Terrace Stone Carving, it is the first half of the poems of the First Emperor, carved in 219 BC, Don Chin said with murderous aura, this is Lang Nha Thak, a royal token carved into an achievement of the Great Tan, it can suppress the demons of all ages. The next second, the stone tablet crushed the monster to the ground, causing a shocking explosion in the middle of the city. On this side, the people saw a bright golden light shining down to the ground, creating an explosion, and they shouted, damn it, who threw the nuclear weapon? A guy saw it and took out his phone to live stream it to attract viewers, he praised, what a terrifying force, even the earth is shaking, Lu Bo pointed to that direction and proudly told the people, it must be his majesty the immortal emperor who has made a move. In the distance, on the top of a building, a man in armor saw the explosion and was surprised, he thought to himself, only his majesty can achieve such a divine power, crossing the boundaries of the plains, I finally found you, this man is Dong Chin's subordinate, Mong Diem. Don Chin, wielding the legendary Lang Jia Agar skill, crushed the flying-headed monster into the ground, leaving only a gruesome half-head as a grim reminder, reportage team scrambled to capture this scene live, earlier at noon, monstrous hordes from the Donghai flooded the city, however, Don Chin, the reincarnated emperor of antiquity, arrived with Tan Min's disciples, successfully repelling the invasion. Don Chin, fueled by the fallen monster's immense aura, landed gracefully, the power amazed him, exceeding his expectations, suddenly, Lu Bo rode his motorbike and stopped in front of Don Chin, he knelt dramatically, proclaiming in booming tones that the city was completely cleansed of monsters. Excellent, Don Chin stated, acknowledging the victory, your merit will be noted. Lu Bo's face lit up with ecstatic gratitude, serving Tan's king and receiving commendation was an undeniable honor, dreams of promotion danced in his head, visions of himself as a trusted general by Don Chin's side, however, his daydreams were shattered as an unknown energy source slammed into them. Reacting instinctively, Lu Bo channeled his power into his spear, shielding Don Chin, enemy attack. He bellowed, spiritual energy approaching, your majesty. Take cover. At this moment, the force hit the ground, causing the stone to crack and smoke to billow, the force was so strong that Lu Bo could not stand firm, but Don Chin still stood calmly in place. As the smoke and dust gradually cleared, a man in armor appeared, he knelt down in front of Don Chin and said, Your Majesty, this humble general has traveled through the dimensions and experienced countless tribulations before finally finding you. Only then did Don Chin recognize this person as Mong Diem, he hurriedly stepped forward and helped him up, saying, Unexpectedly, General Mong Diem has also descended to the mortal world, quickly rise, there is no need for such a grand ceremony. Lu Bo, who was standing on the side, was shocked when he saw this scene, in the next second, his hope of being trusted by Don Chin collapsed, he had originally thought that he could become the trusted general of the Tan Emperor, but now a great general like Mong Diem had fallen from the sky, he was afraid that he would no longer have a chance. On the other side, Don Chin asked Mong Diem with a serious expression, after my failed tribulation, what is the situation in the immortal world like? Mong Diem replied with a slightly sad expression, it's a long story. He recalled the time when the immortal realm was attacked by the heavenly demons and narrated every detail to Don Chin. Since your majesty failed the tribulation, the heavenly demons from outside the territory have been frequently attacking our territory, I tried my best to lead the army to resist, unfortunately, the heavenly demons forces are too strong, they directly used tens of thousands of troops to intimidate and occupy more than a dozen immortal lands, the who originally surrendered to the great Tan also began to rebel and joined the heavenly demons side. Speaking of this, Mong Diem's face showed regret, your majesty not being in the immortal realm is like a dragon without a head, I and the generals have also thought carefully, we guessed that when your majesty failed the tribulation, you might have fallen into the vortex of space and definitely descended to the mortal world. After the generals calculated for a long time, they also made the choice that their subordinates would go to the mortal world to search for your majesty's whereabouts, and now they have finally reunited here. They hope that your majesty will quickly return to the immortal realm and join the generals in the heavenly demons. After hearing Mong Diem's story, Don Chin was also very angry, 
he spoke slowly, with my current cultivation level, I can't return to the immortal realm yet, I still need to cultivate for a while longer. Don Chin looked at Kuan and continued, fortunately, I have built the Great Tan Empire, I have countless disciples collecting spiritual energy for me, which can help me increase my cultivation quickly. Hearing this, Mong Diem immediately clasped his hands and knelt down, respectfully saying loudly, I am willing to fight side by side with your majesty, no matter how difficult it is, I will not give up. Lu Bo also wanted to score points with Dong Chin, so he knelt down and saluted, I am willing to follow General Mong Diem and serve as a general of the Great Tan Empire. At this moment, a group of martial artists with colorful spiritual energy flew towards Don Chin, before they got close, Bark Thuat said, I didn't expect all of you immortals to be here. Don Chin looked at these people and thought to himself, can martial artists fly with spiritual energy? It seems that these people's strength is not low at all. The white-haired old man at the head of the group cupped his hands and spoke with a serious expression, I am Bark Thuat, the president of the Martial Artists Association, I am here to propose a cooperation with your majesty the Great Tan Emperor, for the future of the Great Tan Empire, and to advise everyone. Before he could finish speaking, Lu Bo spoke angrily, shut up. His majesty is so powerful and majestic, why should he cooperate with you mortals? Mong Diem also stepped forward and said, uninvited guests, your majesty should be careful, he then summoned his weapon, the Trung Nguyen Thung, which appeared in his hand with immense power, it was surrounded by a flaming red aura. The two subordinates of Bark Thuat, not knowing the meaning of death, rushed towards Dong Chin, as they charged, they cursed, the Martial Artists Association sends its invitation as a sign of respect for you, Bark Thuat shouted in fear to stop them, stop. Don't be reckless. A murderous glint flashed in Mong Diem's eyes, in front of his majesty, how dare you bark so impudently. With that, he swept his spear across, and the two charging martial artists died instantly. Witnessing the scene from afar, Bark Thuat was terrified, a mere general was able to kill two Iranq martial artists in an instant, so, the strength of the Tan Emperor himself must be terrifyingly powerful. At this thought, Bark Thuat blamed himself for his foolishness in wanting to invite the Great Tan Empire to cooperate, he truly did not know his own limits. After easily defeating the two martial artists, Mong Diem said, although I have been affected by the laws of this world and my cultivation has been severely reduced, dealing with small fries like you is still a piece of cake. Lu Bo, standing next to him, saw this and was filled with admiration, his eyes lit up as he praised, Senior Mong Diem is truly mighty. At this moment, Bark Thuat and his men knelt down before Don Chin and said, we were blind and didn't recognize Mount Tai Sun, we beg for your majesty's forgiveness. We are willing to provide you with important information related to the Bong Lai secret realm. Don Chin was surprised when he heard this, the Bong Lai secret realm, could it be the place of the Bong Lai immortal island? Bark Thuat hurriedly said, that's right. He then explained, yesterday, the Bong Lai secret realm emerged on the surface of the sea, the people of Dongbo, the eastern island, have already sent people to invade and occupy our Hoaha territory. In addition, they have also driven the monsters on Dongbo into Hoaha territory, causing many major cities to be attacked. It can be said that their intention to destroy our country is already very clear. Dong Chin pondered when he heard this. Dongbo was once just a land of barbarians, I didn't expect him to be so arrogant now, it must be that when I helped them build a bloodline force when I went out to sea that year. Thinking of this, Dong Chin gave the order, the dares to act recklessly and cause chaos in the world, I will personally lead the expedition to retake the Bong Lai secret realm and then destroy Dong Bo along the way. Welcome everyone to my channel. Here you will see a lot of interesting video retellings. I like to make videos for you and I am very happy that you like them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell to not miss anything.